What's up guys, I'm Eric with Roaming Romances, and in this video we're going to be talking about why I think the Passport Bro movement is doomed to fail, if it hasn't already or eventually. And you may remember that I actually started this channel as Passport Bro Travels because me being naive, I was really excited about the underlying mission and narrative of which the group was united on. And to me, I thought that that was, you know, successful Western guys working to become successful. It's okay if maybe you're not at this very moment, but if you're making strides in your life to try to do something with your life. At the same time, you're frustrated with the modern dating culture, modern women in your home country. And then you go and travel overseas and you find the grass to be way greener on the other side. And you realize that Two, all these women that maybe passed over you like they did me in the United States, you go overseas and you start getting treated very well by foreign women. And you actually feel attractive and get some confidence back again. And look, I'm 36 and, you know, for example, if you look at the cheerleaders from back when I was in high school that they all passed over me, I didn't stand a chance with them. I'm not trying to be mean, but they don't stand a chance with me now. Uh, a lot of them are overweight, single, mid-30s, got a couple of kids. So that mission is one that really excited me. And, you know, I've been doing this since 2019, traveling and dating overseas, you know, well before I ever heard of the Passport Bros. I'd actually been writing these type of goals down since 2014 to get on the path. And I got receipts on that. But like I said at the start of this video, you know, the Passport Bro Travels channel I started, you know, I really quickly jumped ship. And it's really for three main reasons. Um, I only go where I'm invited, you know, whether that be a country club or, you know, there's been certain times I wanted to play tennis at a certain place and they said, I'm sorry, you can't come in here. But when I started this channel, like, I got a whole bunch of comments like, yo, you ain't the right skin color to be in this movement and... I don't even kind of joke with that. I was like, okay, whatever, you know. I don't go where I'm not invited. And some people said, you know, you can be a passport Joe, though, or a Hispanic person can be a passport Jose. And, you know, I respect that. You know, black guys started that community, and, you know, it's their thing. They found it. It's their baby. Um, but I think that a lot of the leaders have since, like, tried to open it up to everybody. And I think the real reason for that was for monetization. They kind of realized that, hey, if we don't limit this and make it more inclusive and include everybody, we'll actually start to make a lot more money. Um, I don't really think it was just out of the, the kindness of their heart. Um, the second reason is I got into the Facebook groups, the Passport Bro Facebook groups, and I really didn't like what I saw. I saw like a lot of guys posting pictures of their four girlfriends this week. Um, and then the comments on those would be like, I already had her, or how much does she cost, or uh, you look like a clown. So it was just like tremendous amount of toxicity in the groups. And look, it is usually 10% that makes all the noise and causes all the trouble, but that 10% is like what the world sees. And foreign governments do know about the Passport Bros. Um, I also see a lot of hypocrisy, you know, like, why don't foreign countries like us? Or, you know, it, it's us against the world type mentality. And no, it's very obvious why other countries don't want that, or at least will publicly never take the type of stance that that's okay in their type of country. So in some places like Medellin, for example, has ex Passport Bros have an extremely bad reputation there. And then my third reason is that it's not cool to be a Passport Bro anymore especially publicly. Uh, my grandfather always told me that your reputation is like a piece of glass. So once you shatter it, it's really hard to put it back together. That's why I think this movement's doomed to fail. Um, and if you don't believe me, I suggest wearing a Passport Bro t-shirt and go try to pass through immigration in Colombia or Brazil and tell me how that works out for you. <laughs> No, please don't do that because I don't think it's going to work out for you very well. I think it's going to go very poorly for you. And on the reputation, I'm starting to see a lot of profiles. I saw them in Colombia. I saw them in Brazil. I've seen them in Asia. No passport bros because 
whatever the reputation has been scarred so much that they think that it's purely about a sex tourism type thing. That's up for debate between you guys. But if you want to be a passport bro, I suggest you be start being discreet. Be low key, low profile. Don't brag or advertise or try to stunt on people online. You know, this type of thing has been going on since the emergence of ships. I'm pretty sure that Christopher Columbus and his sailors, when they first stepped off the ship in a new place, said, wow, there are some really pretty women out here. So, guys, be safe. Um, like I said, I suggest not don't associate yourself in a public manner with the passport bros. Just be quiet. Keep your mouth shut. Be low-key and discreet. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.